Trump's pretty tryhard. Yeah. So, um, welcome back, guys. Strife is uh, with me. Ready to cast the next match. It's going to be Trump yeah. versus Orange next. Trump, I saw, we saw him like uh, deck build a bit earlier. He's got the double warrior lineup, which What's, is really tough, call? right? What do you call two warriors in a druid? Um, patron meta? Mm. So that would be like the lineup? This is like the muscle, muscle muscles lineup. Okay, I kind of like that. I can think that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can get behind that, that name. <laughs> okay. I mean, Triple Priest is what? Like, uh, Wet Noodle? Like, I can get behind the Holy Wet Noodle. I kind of <laughs> like that. The Holy Wet Noodle. So, sure. we've got, like, the Muscles lineup versus Oranges. Uh, well, How about, like, uh, like, something to do with spell? Because he... Well, the wait, there's, a, there's a hundred there. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, That's wait, not Oh, right. it's wrong. Yeah, something's wrong. Oranges, like, he's got a hundred okay, okay. in his lineup. And he's got the... <laughs> Oh Crush. no, Orange is going to wreck this opener. The thing is, honestly, Trump's start is also acceptable to deal with some aggression. No, I, yeah, I think Trump's start is fine. I mean, yeah. he, has, he has a 2, a 3, and a 4, right? What yeah. else can you ask for for this kind of deck? A, a weapon, maybe, at Okay, least. That's, that, that'd be definitely better, but... I mean, I, I think it's definitely playable for Trump with the Muscles lineup. Yeah. I, I saw him deck build, and interestingly enough, there's like two warrior lists, obviously, one of which is going to be Reno. Um, and I think this is this is a Reno list, and the other one is a highly aggressive one. So one of his decks got banned. I think Orange banned the. Um, the I, I'm assuming you will have banned the Druid, but right now the overlay is not kind of yeah. showing the right thing. But oh. I would I would consider banning Druid. <coughs> Perfect fireworks. Just let's say it's really unfortunate that he used your slam right before he had the player acolyte against yeah. the knife juggler. The snake trap comes out. That's going to be a bit of a nightmare, but it might enable crush earlier than you might think. But with the curve into the animal companion, if Leoc comes out, that's a ton of damage. Oh, definitely. Um, isn't Crush when your own minion is damaged? Yeah, but the one ones will help that, right? Like oh, usually okay, you can okay. get I them see. damaged and stick around. Yeah, that's true. Desert Camel, dude, this hand is disgusting. Yeah, Orange. I'm... Okay, wait, okay, injured so... Valdir? Let's do it. Oh, oh no, we're gonna infiltrate. I am disappointed. Yeah. Me, me too. Yeah. I hope there's a whirlwind off the top. Oh no. Yeah, I, I wanted I wanted to see the Leo go down right there. Yeah. yeah. I think even Huffer was fine, right? Like worst case scenario you deal eight. I mean it generally makes sense to play your more poor controlling minions first and then play your face damage, but yeah. Who cares about the rules, right? I don't I don't I mean I don't I don't rule, right? Mm -hmm. I don't do a lot of that. So yeah. I'm a companion here if he gets to you, Leoc. Okay, you know, so I feel like Trump is going to have a very hard time when he comes back because Trump does not have any AoE, right? And uh, this board's getting out of control. Weapon, he only has one more charge. It's at most going to kill one more minion. Yeah, and, uh, I think Orange is playing around AoE a lot, though, here because he did not play Animal Companion. Um, he's opting for the most 1 1s possible. Yeah. Uh, it's also just getting extra hero power. So yeah. even a Huffer is only getting two more damage over this. And uh, kind of like Orange is sticking with the with the basic fundamentals of Hearthstone. Might you play Playing the, the slower Gnomish? minions first? Might you play Gnomish to get an AoE? Oh well. It depends if he even thinks he has a whirlwind in his deck. I'm pretty sure he plays at least Revenge. I mean, it is Reno, mm -hmm. right? So but you if you play to... a Revenge, you can't play it from two mana. So it would have to be Whirlwind, right? Yeah. It's always Huffer. Well. Uh, this looks like lethal, right? Uh, yeah. I... Exact lethal, right? Yeah. Well, that was quick. It's he, over 66%. 66% chance to lethal. Yeah, the but Leoc would have done it as well. So Misha... Well. Actually, I think Misha over the next turn would have done it anyway. I, I don't think he'd have won. Yeah, there's yeah. almost no way. So Trump will have to play his deck again against Orange. The who's got a druid warrior, left. Other warrior left. He, he can play the same one. Yeah. Oh, he can play the same one. Oh, yeah, quest, you're right, you're so right. It's like, I, yeah. I like banning... The druid, and then just making them play both wars. It's hard to build two good wars. I feel. Well, you have to split the other that, deck that is like and execute. Right, and, and, and the fiery war. And it's yeah. like, how do you how do you do that? Like, I was like, I don't know. Trump was deck building, and I was watching him, and I'm like, what about King's Defender? He says it's not good enough. I'm like, well, uh, the alternatives, uh, like, what are they? I guess this is uh, go how uh, Reno list. That it makes sense. But wait, did they swallow the overlay. The uh, druid was live for Orange a second ago. It's not as the warrior. I don't yeah. know. Anyways, I do like Reno and Gorhal on the same deck because great you can uh, spend your life as a resource a lot. Yeah. This warrior list at the top seems very good. 
it, it might just be a, like it's a Reno list, of course, but we'll have to see what the tech choices are. Like, uh, are there any fancy things like Deathwing in any list? Uh, okay. Like, how how big do people think they can curve while still thinking? So safe? Trump is the bottom player and Orange is the top player. Yeah, and Deathwing's so right there. So this means that this is the same deck as Trump was playing last game. Yes. Because I did see Baron Geddon uh, and the Azure Drake. So apparently he did have Whirlwind. Yeah, I think he had to. It is, I think, Kibler's Reno list uh, tweaked a lot. Well, I mean, at this point, it's not really Kibler's list because yeah. Reno just kind of does whatever. I think Trump probably should have played the Nelson Inventor. Yeah. To try to drop the Whirlwind because of the Drake. I, I the Drake just, had nothing, right? Yeah, did I, I just, I just don't think. <laughs> <laughs> you can't win. Right? Like no, no, no. You know we're not really gonna be too judgmental okay. about this, but I think that the world, the world win was the mm -hmm. only way to win. Um, so definitely expect sludge filter. You definitely want to, even though there's one death fight, you still want to play around it, right? You don't want to yeah. just throw out a Drake into death fight. So he threw away Reno, knowing that he probably would be able to draw it in this matchup. Yeah, this like, is actually gonna be a long game. Uh, it's not the standard fatigue list, but this is still warrior versus warrior controller yeah. versus controller. In fact. This might even be longer than the normal games because it's their decks are a little bit yeah. yeah, their decks are a little bit like greedier and slower. But one of the things that Reno decks sometimes do is they just miss an answer and then they get snowballed out of the game. So although it could be a lot slower because they're playing more defensively or trying to at least, yeah. uh, the, the other t the other side of it is I don't have removal, I'm dead. Yeah. Trump actually has a Harrison Jones here. Uh definitely come into play soon in this game. Orange actually doesn't really have a great play here. I just oh. armor up and just play a six drop, like just a card mm -hmm. to con contest the shredder, uh, the shredder, the belcher. It's like it's boring, but ultimately, like, are you really in a yeah, hurry? Yeah, that makes sense. I, I feel like if I was uh, in Orange's position next year, I would probably play. Sh oh, it depends on how the board is, but I'd probably play shield main over. Just a card, sure. Yeah. That's great too. The thing is, in this deck, you have one shield slam, and you need to be able to enable it. So. Yeah. Uh, keeping shield maiden lets you do that, but That's because true. you gain four, four armor, yeah, adjust you, can the card, you can still just, do it. Yeah. yeah, click the button and then still get for four. This trades very well. Okay, so bash hits for four in a spot like this. Oh yeah, the Bash and the Cruel will do it. Yeah, that's very that's a considerable uh, upside of playing card like Azure Drake in in the Reno. We've seen a lot of people attempting like a long time ago right like the mm -hmm. whole azure drake warrior there was like a really popular list uh, that ran revenge or whirlwind at the time and it's sometimes like people kind of forgot but yeah. wiped out their own board i kind of remember that, yeah. was, uh, that was a fun time yeah it's pushing a lot of damage here uh definitely games in trump's Trump has the advantage here. Yeah. I mean, the, the double war. You need to see his other warrior list. Like, I want Trump to win this just so you can see how weird his other list is. Because it's like, it's not a deck. Like, it's <laughs> so trying this, this is the good deck. <laughs> this is the best okay. of the stuff that he's got. Okay. Uh. So, yeah, I mean, I'm assuming Orange doesn't just want to play Deathwing in 10. Yeah. So, he needs to find a way to deal with this without Deathwing. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, eventually... I, I'd say probably just go for a revenge death spite. Yeah, it, it seems like the most standard line that you'll yeah. have because execute is one of those cards that you'll never use in this spot, and you're able to clean yeah. up most Actually, things. And yeah. if the AOE triggers, then at least you're able to kill the two one. You judgment. might just have to execute the Drake too. Oh, you have to. Yeah. Uh, if like maybe next turn you wait if you think you're you're gonna be fine, but I'd be scared to let it live. Can probably a Harrison Jones. I mean, do you hate Dr. Boom? You just saw Execute, there's only one. So if you drop Dr. Boom, it's I mean, probably safe. I don't like playing Dr. Boom straight into the fire, though, with Death Spike either. Because it kills everything other than the Boom. I mean, you know that the Execute's gone, but... Hmm. The alternative and if, is... Is what, like Harrison to lose your 2 1, see yeah. what you draw? And I mean, you're, you're gonna lose the 2 anyway. Since this is a control matchup, not really that tempo oh. matchup. Uh, you'd probably rather just dodge the boom bots getting whirlwinded, I think. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, the crush here is kind of funny because the whirlwind AOE from Death's Bite ended up not mattering <laughs> for you know Orange, given that he can't get an execute yeah. a second time. But crush for Trump is enabled. Crush is going to be a good card, <laughs> a very good card in this matchup. Uh, yeah. yeah. Can I you imagine a world just... in which people play the new Ravaging Ghoul with Crush? <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. So start the tank up now. Yeah. Kind of have to. <coughs> Oh, that's countered that spite, and there's no response for that weapon, so 
it does make the death by for Trump a little bit more. Uh, this is really weird because Trump kind of wants to develop another minion while uh, clearing that minion, and his only play to clear the minion without trading his Harrison would be to firing. Yeah, like one of the weapons, right? And then you can't play any minion other than Reno. And uh, I, I mean, you could play fiery. Yeah, I think you want arena. I, I like Geddon, Plus, I oh. trade with the use, and then the, the thing is, if VGH comes out, then your Doctor Boom is even safer, mm -hmm. right? And if he lets it live, then he takes a ton of damage from it. Yeah, I like this. Which one. is very scary. Yeah, that's very dangerous for Orange. Yeah, it's so hard for Orange to say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would have been hard. Yeah, I was gonna say it's so hard to just leave up the five one and try to make the right. get and kill it because yeah. that's just so much damage. Well, I mean that's a pretty decent card to draw, but now Doctor Boom looks even more threatening unless he picks up some kind of Death Bite. Um, not Death Bite, but um, a Brawl. Then it's gonna look a little bit uh, difficult. He probably plays Crush of his own. Probably plays Crush. I might have actually played Tournament Medicare in instead of the Elise. Although I guess Elise is a good, a good upside of just you wanting to develop the uh, Battlecry as soon as possible. You might want to do that. Yeah, yeah. but I, I feel like the one eight here is actually a lot better since there's a five one on board. Yeah, I could see that because yeah. it trades with it anyway. You yeah. keep it. You get to heal up a little bit if necessary. That Doctor Boom though got a shield slam off the shield block. So. The more I think about this, it's. Hmm. I'm wondering if Orange might just Deathwing here. Oh man, the all in. He hasn't <laughs> even seen any yeah. removal. No, it's too big of an uh, all in. I guess this is too big of an all in. I'm just not sure how much answers Orange actually has. Gorhal? And once Orange starts getting the Elise cards, it's hard to Deathwing, right? Like, yeah. say you. Yeah, yeah. I guess, say you actually get the monkey here, then you can't play Deathwing ever, kind of. Yeah, because you don't want to lose the monkey yeah. at any single point. Yeah. This is kind of okay. Like, he doesn't overheal with a heal bot. And, uh, I actually think maybe Orange shouldn't have played the second, like, the map. The map, again. Because if you top deck the monkey... And you then were you in a, a really bad shape. Maybe you just but... never played Deathwing. Then. Or you cycle him into another Deathwing. <laughs> you know, why not? Yeah. That could happen. Who knows? Orange is, like, casually sitting back. You know? Yeah, usually, usually you don't see Deathwing and Elise in the same deck. It's it's a weird Reno list he's yeah, got. It's, it's very. It's like he's trying awkward. to play the Fibonacci Control Warrior yeah. while sprinkling in Reno, and yeah, it's like, wait, what? What happened here? <laughs> he doesn't run Elise. Uh, but this makes Grom kind of viable, right? Like if you throw Grom as a Doctor Boom, you have a, an answer that you otherwise did not. It sucks to lose it, but I think your win condition is going to be the monkey. If you included Elise in your deck, yeah. you don't really count Grom to kill off another Control Warrior. Yeah, I think. Uh, Trump is pretty confident that Orange has just never had Brawl so far. Yeah. I mean, there's tons of Brawl opportunities so far. He's just you know, not going to play around too much. Oh! oh! Well, I guess you play Grom because, you know, the heal bot and the <laughs> Medic and the shield, uh, the Senjin, you know, let's let's be honest. They don't they don't really do much. They're kind of, you know, a lot of 4-drives that do nothing. So you're, saying, so you're saying Grom and kill a 7-4. Right, you kill a 7-4 and then you armor up, turn. get an extra bit of armor and... I like. I kind of like that plan. I mean, his deck is yeah. still full of legendaries. There might be a Reno coming out, so you could <coughs> yeah. still do it. I, I think I agree because if you play Senjin and Monkey this turn, the problem is the six three trades too good into the Monkey, and your best case scenario with Senjin is trading the seven four into the three five. Yeah. But then you have a seven one against an all all minion hand. So after you play the Monkey, you can't deal with the seven one. There's no removal. Yeah, right? exactly. Unless it's, you pick up some random dread it's, scale. Yeah, exactly. Or... It's exactly so. I feel like you have to do this and then try it for probably the monkey next turn. Yeah. I want to know if Trump plays Elise in his deck. I, I actually ha I haven't paid attention whether or not it passed by uh, at any point, but if I it did, it would be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I love the monkey. I I'll say that about the League of Explorers expansion. Like initially, it came out, people toyed around with a lot of the tools, and a lot of them got phased out, and we went back to more kind of standard lists. Yeah. But of recent memory, Elise came back. And we see a ton of competitive matches where it comes down to the monkey, yeah. like with priests and the warriors around. Yeah, Trump That's just fun. isn't sure how to do this because I think he doesn't know how much he wants to commit to droll, right? He has a god pain shield block. Yeah. Uh, he's, sometimes he's not sure because fatigue where people are you know, not playing these cycle cards. Trump just decides, I think correctly, to just cycle and go for it, basically. Yeah, I think you have to commit. If there's a brawl, then you can always just... 
draw more out of your acolyte. Mm-hmm. But he loses to Monkey in in a spot like this one, or at least he will think he does. Yeah. This is a great if Golden Monkey. If we get a card right? count, it would help a lot. Uh, he must be at about ten, I think. Fifteen, 15 even. 15 Good lord. And twelve. Okay, so Trump is already probably feeling he's all in already right because he knows that first of all orange has played a lease already he doesn't right. know the, about the monkey in his hand but he knows eventually the monkey's coming and he knows that uh he's already three points down so i think from trump's perspective you just go for it cycle as much as you can oh no, reno's there but it's not it's not yellow <laughs> it isn't oh, yellow, it isn't yellow. So, this is this is new <laughs> this, this is, is new yeah okay you should not be here oh you Dude, wait this even, is so weird this is insane. Jirai if you play man. finley if you play finley you get an extra combo for edwin but, but? The, you lose your take <laughs> oh so, well, what if you live tap afterwards I mean, oh, what, like the fact that Jaraxxus is there and can override Finley's quote-unquote drawback mm-hmm. is amazing to be here. Like, you play Finley, you're like, yeah, sure, whatever. And then you override with Jaraxxus. Could work so out. So he just decides, all right, I'm never going to play as Finley. No, there's... Well, I, I still think at some point he might. Um, but he's hoping he gets an Elise to turn that Finley into something else, right? Yeah. Get another Elise. If Reno Jackson is just not enabled. That dra- Like, the Harrison Joe is going to be so good here. The or Drax is it's very awkward here, especially with Tank Cup. Uh, apparently, you lose all your armor when you play Draxus. Yes, like so, Ragnaros, yeah. same, uh, same concept. A little bit unfortunate. Guess he doesn't have any armor anyway. But... Another Harrison! Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is this? Reno must be glowing yellow now, right? At some uh, point. We won't gonna... know until he gets enough mana for it. This is ridiculous. It could have been the... Wow, just... Yeah, double, why? double, <laughs> two Harrisons in one. Everything turn. belongs in the oh. museum. At least for Trump. Trump has least too, so. Everybody's playing it. I love this. Trump is actually in pretty good shape then, because yeah. if he has at least himself, he'll actually catch up on cards too. He'll catch up on card value, <coughs> and he's also got removal that he can use. Whereas Orange is already all in yeah. on having big dudes. Okay, so Trump here, he has big game hunter, super good against the least, and he has crush. Uh, so that he's, since he doesn't have other ways to deal with uh, this. These Harrisons, I think he might use a crush. I think so too. Uh, because but the like, you might want to save against an Elise hand, but you have a big game already. If so. you push full phase, though, I mean, yeah. you do put a lot of pressure on this uh, no removal warrior. That's pretty yeah. much the way you look and, at this. And the five three is a lot different than five four, right? If you crush the five four, the five three just trades with your uh, yeah. And in a, you're in a great spot afterwards. You could make the trade oh. up front to not oh, expose yourself to crazy legendary turns, um, but as a very very defensive play. Oh goodness, he just. That like is the, hyper defensive. This is the, uh, yeah, then you lose all your tempo. I guess he's you... holding crush for big, you know, seven plus attacks mm-hmm. at this point. Reno's still not glowing, so what's in that deck twice? Well, there's two Harrisons, but there's also two. Something what else? if there's two Finleys? Well, I mean, one Finley in hand doesn't impact, like, Reno, right? They would have to be two in the deck left. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So there's two. Oh yeah. There's two something. There's two something right? that nobody that knows knows what that something is. I can hope for Orange that it's two Deathwings in a stage like this, because that would actually give you removal. Yeah. Um, as a result. Because right now his hand's kind of useless, right? I mean, Dorino's good, but for right now it's not that good. And none of his legendaries do, do anything. I mean, there's the synergy between the Merc guy and the other Merlin. Chromagus! What? That's a good one. That's an insane card. Too Trump's going to have to use removal on this. Too bad he can't get a draw on the Chromagus, and uh, it's going to get crushed. They'll teach you to not play or Finley executed. for the life tap. Maz is coming in to deliver gifts and offerings to you, Strike Crow. Well, Strike Crow is now officially eating a Froyo. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Thank you, Maz. Are we, okay. are we sponsored by Froyo? Sorry? Are we sponsored by Froyo? Soon, hopefully. Soon. Cool, Froyo. Yeah. I, definitely like, I definitely like him trading that collect. I mean, Akkart's only doing one damage a turn. Uh, it kind of opens you up, and probably not after Elise hand, but you, know, you don't really want to draw multiple cards back yeah, at no that way. point. Just do set it and play uh, Execute. Another! Oh, that's, that's, okay, so now. No, Reno think... wasn't even yellow. <laughs> it wasn't even like glowing yellow. Okay. I, I mean, was, what was, is this? I was distracted by the Froyos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this game? I was like, right, that must be, you know. No, it's know. not. It never is. I mean, what, at what point is Orange simply going to pull the This trigger? is actually going to be very relevant because he actually needs the Reno now. He needs it. He needs to heal. Die. Deathwing top deck. Okay. Let's see it. I mean, this is the turn where he either. This like, is the turn where you die or you. He might don't Finley die. into life tap, into whatever is not doubled, and oh, then yeah. get the Reno out. Sometimes you have to. Not working not here. Reno. And it's, that means it's not double Galbin. 
That means it's not double Gelbin. That change is actually a huge. Wait, Old Merkai with Finley, does that work ish ever? Can you survive? No, it no, just you can't. So just heal bot, would it heal you? The uh the crazy heal bot from Gelbin. Um, you're the only target for that heal bot. You're literally the only possible. Is that at the end of the turn? Yeah. It'll it'll give you six health. Oh my god! What is that? I, six I, health. I, I'm not. He gains six health. He okay. goes up to eighteen and twenty-two with a hero power. I'm not good enough at Jeparino <laughs> to recognize what that minion is. Unbelievable! That is on. This is basically a light well at the end of the turn. Okay. Think of Ragnaros Light Lord, right? Across all okay. random characters that are damaged. Okay, okay. And Trump is at thirty. Exactly. Misplay, misplay to play Reno. Shouldn't have played Reno there. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, he dad. still wins, oh, right? Oh, that's dead. it. GG. Oh. He's got the lethal. This is this unbelievable. This must be lethal. Yeah, I mean, Trump is looking at the math, um, but there's no way he misses this. That's uh, 10 plus another 10. Four, uh, 20, 24. 24 damage, yeah. He's good. So we'll never know what was in that deck. You know what? Blizzard yeah, needs yeah. to give us the ability to just resume from replay so I can start digging up, like, just to see what's in it. I mean, how did that. Like, there were two Chromagus. I'm happy Two Trump Two Harrisons. Won. I'm happy Trump won. I want to see his other deck. <laughs> it's so bad. I think Orange <laughs> takes that last one. If Orange doesn't win that last match, Drive Crow, I will eat my socks on okay. stream. Okay, I'm holding you to that. You will hold I'm me to it. I'm holding you to that. What's up? Look at this eel. He's trying to come off this. Oh my god. It's like the faces he had yesterday on the cards. <laughs> Moz is legendary. Uh, Alright guys, we got another control... Uh, well, we got a Warrior versus Warrior match. The double Chromagus, man. And then double Harrison. Double Harrison is so cool. I never expected to see two in one turn. Just, just like, that it. belongs to the museum. I guess it's already in the museum, but I, I'm here anyway. Yeah. So, um, how are you enjoying the, the event so far? Like, you had me, you know, spoon fed some uh, Froyo? I'm having fun. I'm yeah. having fun. You like the Froyo? I love the Froyo. So, this is an arena deck. No, <laughs> <laughs> This isn't even a warrior. This is a. It is a warrior deck, but I can't even tell you like. This is a real warrior. <laughs> Trump just starts putting in spire tanks and eddies. In his war. His side. This I, is not a control warrior. Like, so here's the deal. Like I told him, you have to build a hyper aggressive okay. warrior, and he's like, Nah, I'll build tempo. I'm like, No, this is not gonna work. And he insists. I hope for him, for his sake, that this Finley carries really hard, because it could. Yeah. This life tap is insane. Uh, shape shift, not so much. I mean, totems yeah, are good. Totems against, are uh, actually very good against warrior. Right, it's the old you weakness. You get the taunt totem, and yeah, you know, that locks in the weapons. Yeah, it's a really difficult uh, way to handle it. But now Trump has yeah. barely any removal. Oh, maybe this is an aggro deck. I've seen the list. It yeah, started yeah. up you as mean, aggro, and then Trump decided to go full value. Yeah, I don't think that works. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, Strike Pro. That's exactly I, what I told I don't him. Think that works constructed, right? <laughs> I, I mean, constructed, you can't like. <laughs> Got kind of go for like this oh, hybrid slow, style, like, slow shredder warrior. I, I can't even. Uh, start, I tried to tell him. You need to tell him too. Uh, I was on Trump's side, but he didn't believe me. Okay. Well, we can just hope that Orange doesn't ever get anything ever. Anything ever. <laughs> he just he just like keels over and dies from a heart attack, and then maybe Trump takes it. Uh, Basically, Trump is playing. Seeker Paladin with no Mysterious <laughs> Challenger, no, like, <laughs> just playing, playing Paladin. He's playing budget He's playing Challenger. a Paladin. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, goodness. Okay, so okay, the so best All, all you up. need to do is strat to turn 10. Yes. You just have to get to kind of wait, and Trump has no removal. Yeah. You've seen Execute, Shield Slam, the Crush, yeah. everything is gone. That fight is huge tempo swing. Yeah. Two minions. I mean, this is really rough. At least Life Tap is there to... Kind of get you this, back some this card might draw. actually miss. Yes, he plays Curse Blade. Oh, it missed. That's not good. Well, it's all right. You do play for value. That's not good because he, this whirlwind is gonna kill your four one now. Right, right. But the upside to that is that you can then kill the two three. That's now a two two with the Wrathy Weaponsmith and whatever mm, biggest minion you've got okay. suddenly can do something. Um, that, of course, is the theory. Okay. We have to see what happens. On this turn. What if you just die playing Curse Blade? Oh, but you have the weapons. No, he won't die. He planned for it. Yeah. He, he, he just foresaw this situation. Uh, you might shield slam this. To avoid like uh, a... I don't know. I'd probably just play this here, yeah. yeah. Never mind. <coughs> it's too hard to make any kind of tempo play with shield slam. Oh wow, he's trading him because he's... Yeah, I'm okay. not sure. So it makes sense in some ways because you're scared of the... Uh, 
the effect of that. But then the problem with this is whatever minion that orange gets here or Trump gets can attack right, right? away. Yeah. So if you can't kill it, of course. Yeah. It's actually activating his Dark Iron Dwarf. So technically, you can get punished here by Dark Iron Dwarf and Curse Blade together to trade. Yeah, you can totally just go all in on that 4-drop. It's uh, a winning strategy. I mean, the alternative is to just, you know, develop minions um, and not really anything insane. Because you've seen the Death Bite, right? So if you've seen the Death Bite, the 4-4 four -four can live most of the time. Because you can override Curse Blade, it's not too scary. This is such a Trump play. Yeah, it is. It is. All right, now you just swing for eight in the face, and I mean, you can <laughs> you can override. Oh with yeah. The weaponsmith. That's probably good. I, I think the alternatives aren't exactly a thousand. Try this. Yeah, there's no real alternative. You have to remove the shield play. Do you left tap here or? I mean, I would I would probably play the infiltrator in the mm -hmm. center. Um. Because the only way you're pushing damage is if you have something left on the board next turn to trade up. Yeah, that Sunwalker was insane. Man. Yeah, it was a great six drop. Sunwalker is actually, it's not usually played in constructed, but if like Warrior ever took over the meta, it would actually be played. Because Sunwalker Everywhere. is so good against Warrior. Like, you, Warrior can never get the Divine Shield very easily. You have to do something crazy. Yeah. One of the things, too, with Sunwalker is that if the metagame ever slows down enough that it's good... Um, like, Ram truly becomes aggravating, because one of the best ways to tech against it is something like Black Knight, but you have so many targets for that in, like, those very slow decks that play heavy taunts. Now, that card is kind of, uh... Like, nice it's always waiting for its time yeah. to come back. A nice refresh remender. I don't know. I don't know how Trump's going to win, because he's gotten... Jeeves for can all, carry, for right? For however aggro his deck is, he's gotten a whole uh, zero damage in so far. Well, you know, he started off as aggro, um, but decided, I'd rather play Arena. I think my chances are better. He's good. I mean, Trump does have the board. Yeah. How long for? Uh, not anymore. Not after Sylvanas. Well, I mean, he does have the board right now. It's not like, after Sylvanas. <laughs> Well, he needs just a silence, which I told him to put in, and he said no. Do you think Trump will make the value player trade both for Sylvanas? Oh, you give your opponent Thalry for and you mill him! Oh, no way you can survive that. Well, I'm not saying you're surviving, I'm just saying okay. that's the play you make. It's not about survival, Stripe Crow. Mm -hmm. It's about swag. Yeah. If you don't understand this, then you're, like, there's nothing I can do for yeah. you. Actually, uh, I, I definitely expect uh, Trump to just... Value trade. Value trade against yeah. the small minions and just play something. And Maybe give Jeeves. Like, Sylvanas right. can actually whiff on Jeeves, right? Because if you play Jeeves plus Acidic plus Worgen, you empty your hand, you draw two cards, the opponent is stuck with a pretty awkward board to trade into with Sylvanas because uh, nothing kills it. Yeah, I think you all in, actually. I'd, I'd probably take the two little trades, and play the Fell Reaver, yeah, just everything except Jeeves. Okay, so you play Jeeves after you play Fell Reaver? <coughs> oh, he's playing no, no Fell Reaver. I guess that makes sense because it allows him to suicide his Sylvanas, but... Yeah, because that, that's the thing, like, Jeeves lets you not let the Sylvanas straight away. Um, but, like, Orange has a heal bot left, a shield block, okay. Yeah. You know, that's pretty good. I've heard good things about shield block, shield slam. Yeah. So this Yeti's dead. Yeah. Another shield maiden with the Deathwing back up, just in case. I don't even think Orange needs Deathwing since... Sylvanas is going to totally wreck Trump at some point. Yeah. Right. I mean, is there anything Trump could give Orange that basically causes him to lose after getting it? Maybe like, an altered Peacekeeper, Fell Reaver. That'd be crazy. But. I don't think we can. Not in here. He didn't put Nexus Champion Sarad for the unstable portal into Nexus, like into the uh, Aldo Peacekeeper. Well, these are pretty good cards, at least, right? Like, they, they're they kind of yeah. all over the place, forcing Sylvanas I mean, to spread itself thin, so it's not half as bad as it looks. It's just not a winning board. Yeah. Do you think Trump will trade here, or just... If he trades, then I, I don't see a way out of this, like... I could see Trump trading see... and just playing the Reaver after the right. trade. And just giving away... I hope away the 8-8 uh... sticks, yeah. Like, no, no, you don't hope the 8-8 sticks, you just trade first and... Yeah, yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, you trade and then you hope the 8-8 oh, sticks. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. As a exactly. Trade. Otherwise, it's all in with okay. the small dudes. All in with the small dudes. Because Sylvanas still has to trade, right? Unless there's a yeah. crazy lethal coming from Orange, 
Sylvanas is still in the position of having to trade without <coughs> like losing. Um, that spare part could do something, right? Is there something? Can we see a? Oh, I don't even like that thing here. No. You gain uh, six armor with the Justice card, so you're almost like not even taking the damage if you think about on the right. Because yeah, because yeah, Deathwing, you don't gain any armor, and when you play Deathwing, like you can get the tank up first and play Deathwing, right? And then you're not the only thing with Sylvanas either. So I kind of like just taking up armoring up. I mean, twice. you're setting up lethal next turn if you go Sylvanas Deathwing. Oh, okay. So, so maybe like the the, set, the lethal setup. Wow. I thought the lethal setup was okay. Oh, this makes sense. He's. Not trading and still thinking this way. I would have thought that just wants to going to trade. I guess it makes sense because life tap, uh, Trump can't actually heal, and after Deathwing you threaten the twelve is what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Because you go full face, he's on. He can't armor up. There's no no such thing. So you're still uh, winning. I guess if there's a removal piece, then you might be in trouble. Right. There's no death rattle on the board right now. The best case scenario for Trump here is that the Clockwork Gnome gives him a, a freezing spare part. Where Deathwing comes out and he buys an extra turn. Yeah. And then somehow picks up a crazy outcome. There's a world in which Trump, Trump wins. I think it might not be mathematically possible. I think it is. It really is. Look at his cards. I don't know the cards of his deck, but he's like behind like... 30 life. No. And he's like. got a blink charm. You give Curse Blade to the opponent, and you mm -hmm. get Gorhal. It is mathematically. I mean, I don't even know if we put blink charm in, but I, I think this is the card you put in the deck like this one, pretty much every time. This is gonna be a. Oh, this is gonna hurt, man. This, this is, is gonna, gonna hurt. hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt so much. And it's not even the freezing spare part, so you're in trouble now. You're in trouble now, Trumpino. Well, Deathwing. That is. <coughs> well, check I will say that this Gorhal is really sexy, but Deathwing looks like the better play. I think Deathwing. What is if Anoyatron comes out? Oh. <laughs> this would be so cool. Is there a Blinktron? Uh, nope. There is not a Blinktron. What would you do with a Blinktron here? I'm just curious. Curse Blade. I mean, there's nothing really. It yeah. would just be like. Curse Blade into Gorhal on the oh, other you side, and you just deal 14. It, like, it, it, technically, yeah. if there had been a taunt where the Blinktron play, it would have been semi-achievable. Uh, semi but you know what? Play, playing Arena against Constructed isn't something you want to do, Strike Bro. No. So Trump, uh, yeah. But like, would you, do you think a real like heavy aggro list with Corcrons and just Leroy, Arcane, Golem... Yeah, I think it would be viable. I mean, do you think that would have been better? I don't, I don't know if it would be the best like, possible, but I certainly think it would be much... Like his best option probably if then you have two warriors. Dumbbell. If you have two warriors, I think you probably cannot make uh, two control lists just because there's too many. Of course, yeah, one cards. So I like the idea of one aggro, one control. Okay, <coughs> yeah, well, Trump ended up uh, getting slaughtered there. Yeah. The the at least game was cool. Um, I thought the monkey would take it, but it didn't. Yeah, so. there's actually a maybe an interesting kind of mid range style you can run, but it's more of a. It's still more of a control list. Like I wouldn't be running, I wouldn't be running two ones. I'd be right. running something like a Varian Ren Death Rattle list. Something that's like what, that. That's what know? I think the alternative was. Mm -hmm. He was. I think he was looking was at Varian Ren at yeah, some point yeah. where he's like, "Yo, I can maybe slow down, just play defensively with a bunch of janky." Yeah, talks. but not like control, but more right. like the late game beatdown style. And then just flood like the board. Sky golems and yeah, like tons yeah. of Death Rattles, something like that. That might have worked with yeah. Kel'Thuzad. Yeah. Like who something knows? Like that. No, that would be cool. Sunwalker, KT, and then a bunch of yeah. ranged minions. Um, that might have worked. All right, guys, we're going to be taking a short break. Strife is going to be uh, going back to the, uh, well, I guess the watching bench with me. And Rickful is going to come in. Maz is here to say good things about something. I don't know what it is. Maz, what's up? The floor is yours. So it's semifinals. Semifinals. Rekful and Dog are casting next match. Rekful and Dog are casting next match. Pride. Cap of Pride. And uh, once they start casting, there's going to be a giveaway. Yeah, Fnatic Gear? Yes. Yeah, Fnatic Gear giveaway, guys. If you want keyboards to type at like 200 words per minute. Yep. Rekful's got that uh, not, covered. Not exclamation mark giveaway in chat. Do not type work. exclamation mark raffle or raffle or raffles. <laughs> or craigasm. Or ruffles. It doesn't work. Uh, or or gachi gas. Okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, well, we'll see you after the break. We love you. Good job, guys. Sort of. Do we love them? Yeah. Uh, okay. I probably feel you, of course.